tuning in to today's episode of the Holly Jolly Kitchen, the best Christmas cooking show this side of the North Pole. My name is Taylor and I'm super excited because today on the show, we're celebrating Christmas. We have so many fun things in store for you. But before we jump into the surprises, let's stand and sing a mashup of my favorite Christmas songs. If you know them, sing along. Christmas cook-off. Let's see what's up. Green, 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 green. What's up, cook-off fam? I hope you're ready for the most kitcheny, cook-offy, super spectacular fun time challenge. Oh, hold up there, Mr. Grinch. You better not be trying to sway our junior chefs to the green team. Trying to sway them? No way. Everyone already knows that Team Green is the best team. <laughs> team Red for life? Uh, let's get this party started by telling these guys what we're so pumped about. Thanks for the intro, Graham and Reese. On today's episode, everyone is going to choose a team, either red or green. Go ahead, decide what team you're on. I'll wait. Great choice! Now that you know what team you're on, let me fill you in on the fun. Graham and Reese are helping me host a red versus green Christmas competition. Some of your teammates are here in the studio and they'll be competing live as you cheer them on and maybe even play along from home. Let's check back in with Graham and Reese and see what's next. Now that everyone knows what team they're on, we can tell you guys that we're going to be competing for points. Throughout today, we'll issue challenges and if your team wins, they'll get a point. 
That's right, Candy Cane. Candy Cane? Yeah, I mean, you called me Mr. Grinch. I was just trying to think of something red. Ah, oh, I see. Oh man, I would give anything for a candy cane right now. <gasps> Even a point to Team Green. Stay strong, Reese. Stay strong. Uh, nope, no points for you. Well, Green Team, it was worth a try. Anyway, we're going to be issuing challenges all day long. And at the end, we'll announce our winner. Oh man, Reese. I realize we never even told them why we're competing in the first place. Ooh, that was close. Let them know. The cool reason why we're having this big cook-off party, baking, magical, stupendous, spectacular cook-off competition is because <sighs> it's Christmas. That's right. And at Christmas time, there is a lot to celebrate. Teams, who knows who we celebrate at Christmas? Jesus! Yes. Christmas is all about God sending us his son. Yeah, at Christmas time, we celebrate Jesus. In fact, why don't we hit them with the good news? By, by good news, you mean, of course, the good news of Jesus. That's right, Reese, it's story time. <laughs> this is Joseph. What's up, Joe? And this is Mary. How are we doing? Wouldn't you know it, they were expecting a baby boy. But this wasn't like a regular baby. This was a special baby, one to really celebrate because he was God's son. While Mary was pregnant, the ruler of the country made everyone go back to their hometown to be counted in a census. Ah, oh, census. Uh, one, two, three, four. What are you doing? I'm counting my senses and five. <coughs> no, not senses. A census. Oh. That means counting the people who live in a certain area. In order to be counted, they had to take a little trip back to home, which was Bethlehem. Ah, oh, so I guess Joseph and Mary really had to roll on out of there. <laughs> That's right. They packed up their donkey and hit the road. And after the long trip, they were finally there. The end. Uh, what? No, not even close. This is where things get pretty crazy. Oh yeah, the baby was in time. Sound the alarm. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Yeah, it was time, but there was a big problem. <gasps> there were so many people in Bethlehem, they didn't have a place to stay. No, say it isn't so. They went all around town looking for somewhere to stay, but all the inns were full. But they weren't completely out of options. <clears throat> uh. It, hey guys, listen, there's no room in the inn, but I guess you could stay in the stable if you want to. So, are you trying to tell me that Mary and Joseph were willing to whisk it all and stay in a barn with animals? That's right, Graham. They were about to have a baby and they knew they could trust God's plan. And then, drum roll please. <gasps> Jesus, God's son was born. <gasps> hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Mary and Joseph wrapped Jesus and placed him in a manger. Oh, and then that very same night, some shepherds in a nearby field were taking care of their sheep. <laughs> there they were, just tending to their flock. When? An angel suddenly appeared to them. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it was scary, but the angel told them not to be afraid because he had some good news. The angel let the shepherds know all about how baby Jesus was born and that he was the special baby that everyone was waiting for. And then even more angels joined the first one and they all celebrated and sang because Jesus was born. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. After that, the shepherds set out to find baby Jesus. When the shepherds made it to the stable, they told Mary and Joseph what the angel had said. Mary and Joseph were amazed at what God had done, sending his son Jesus to be the savior of the world. And that's why we celebrate Jesus at Christmas. God sent him to be the best gift ever. He came here to give hope, love, and forgiveness to the world. Oh yeah, and that good news is why we're celebrating with the red versus green Christmas cook-off today. Yep, 
We thought there was no better way to celebrate Jesus than by playing a bunch of games, a special Christmas cook-off, and... And, 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 my favorite part, dance breaks. That's right. One way we celebrate Jesus around here is by dancing. Should we demonstrate? Absolutely. <laughs> All right, now it's time to get this competition started with our first game. Yep, teams, let's go. Our first game is called Santa Says. Whoop whoop! I love this game. Ho ho ho! If I say Santa says, then you do it. But if you don't hear Santa says, then don't do it. Or you'll be out and have to take a seat. Santa says, stand to your feet. Here we go. Santa says, touch your nose. Santa says, touch your toes. Santa says, put up your reindeer antlers. Santa says, run like a reindeer. Santa says, freeze. Santa says, say ho ho ho. Santa says, rub your jolly old belly. Santa says, pretend to drink hot chocolate. Santa says, hop on one foot. Stop. Ho ho ho. Santa didn't say to stop. So if you did stop, go ahead and take a seat. Okay, now Santa says, stop hopping. Santa says, clap your hands. Santa says, pretend to throw a snowball. Santa says, spin around. Santa says, stop spinning. Santa says, touch your head. Santa says, touch your shoulders. Santa says, touch your knees, touch your toes. Ho <laughs> ho Santa didn't say touch your toes. So if you did touch your toes, have a seat. Santa says, pretend to cut down a Christmas tree. Santa says, pretend to decorate a Christmas tree. Now reach up high to the top of that Christmas tree. Ho oh, ho Santa didn't say to reach to the top of the Christmas tree. So if you did, take a seat. Santa says, reach up high like you're putting a star on the Christmas tree. Santa says, show your best dance move. Santa says, stop dancing. Blink your eyes. Ho oh, ho ho, Santa didn't say to blink your eyes. So if you did, you can have a seat. Santa says, wave to a friend. Santa says, wiggle your toes. Santa says, blink your eyes. Santa says, pretend to eat cookies. Santa says, pretend to sleep. Wake up! Ho oh, ho ho, Santa didn't say to wake up. So if you did, it's time to sit down. Santa says to snore. Santa says to snore louder. Santa says to wake up. Santa says to shout, Merry Christmas. Santa says to sit down. Well, ho, ho, ho. Both the red and green teams did pretty well. So I say you both win. Points for everybody. Ho, ho, ho. What's up, Junior Chefs? This has been an incredible cook-off so far. You got that right. I can really tell that both teams are really giving it their best. I'm on the edge of my seat to see who's going to win. Uh, you're, you're standing, but either way, it's time to get our cakes in the oven. Yes, the main event of the day, the cake competition. Tell them what's up. So we told you guys that today is a special Christmas cook-off to celebrate Jesus. And it wouldn't be a true cook-off if we didn't actually cook something. Right, that's right, Graham. We've prepped these cakes and we're ready to get them in the oven. When they're all done baking, we'll pull them out and get to decorating. But while we wait, I say it's time for a dance, dance break. break! Yeah, it is. Okay, we need you guys to stand up and let's see those crazy cool moves. <gasps> That was fast. You all can take a seat. Now, while we prep for the cake decorating, we're gonna let you guys play another game of your own. Ooh, this game is gonna be great. It's called Rudolph Race. Now, everyone knows that Rudolph has a red nose, which happens to be our team color, just saying. Well, lucky for our green team friends, I threw in some green ones too. Well, I guess we'll rename this game Reindeer Race then. That's right, you're going to have a ball full of pom-poms, Red for the red team, and green for the green team. And with whipped cream on your nose, you'll put your nose in the bowl to catch the pom-poms and then drop them on your team's plates. They're so cute and they're so fuzzy. Like this. Exactly, like that. We'll put a timer up and the team who has the most pom-poms from the bowl to the plate will be the winner. 
And another thing, if your nose runs out of whipped cream, you can always reapply, but do it quickly because you're racing the clock. Uh, Reese, I think I got too much. Oh, Graham, your nose, just your nose. Oh, well, what a delicious mistake. All right, green team, you know what to do. Red team, I know you're ready. Can't wait to see who wins. I'm so excited to see how this one shakes out. Contestants, get your noses ready. Here we go. Boom! Like green has won this round. Good job, green. Good job, team green. Good job, team red. Wow, that was so much fun. Let's keep this competition going. Graham and Reese are ready to go. Let's check it out. Great game, team. I'm really impressed with the mad gaming skills these guys have. Same, but competition isn't over yet. You got that right. Our cakes are all cooled down, and it's time to decorate. Now, these cakes are no ordinary plain Jane blotty blah blah run-of-the-mill average snooze fest cakes. No way. These cakes are special. That's right. These cakes are birthday cakes <gasps> for Jesus. <laughs> All right, we're going to decorate our cakes in our team's color. When we're all done, you guys will cheer and vote for which one you think is the best decorated. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get to decorating. Teams, it's time for you to vote for which one you think is best. If you think that the red team's cake is the best, let me hear you say, oh yeah! Oh yeah! You could barely hear them. Green team will definitely be louder. Let me hear you, green team! <laughs> red team, let me hear you. Oh, oh wait, just one last thing. <laughs> there we go. Now let me hear you say, red, 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 as loud as you can. Red, 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 red. Oh, come on. Lights or no lights. Let me hear you one more time, green team. Cheer as loud as you can if you think the green cake is the best. <laughs> all right, all right. I wasn't going to do this, but. Now let me hear you, red team, as loud as you can be! All right, all right. I'll give it to you. Your cake is awesome. I think we all know what this means. Just go ahead, say it. I can take it. Red team wins! Great job, Reese. Your team did awesome today. But hey, don't forget, it's not over yet. That's right, there's one more game to play. We'll get to that in a minute. I think we need to put the competition in the cooler for a minute to remember why we're competing in the first place. Reese, you're right. We don't need to get all caught up in the red and green and forget that we're having this big party to celebrate Jesus. You got it. You and I can celebrate Jesus because that's what the season is all about. Let's say that together. I can. I can. Celebrate. Celebrate. Jesus. Jesus. You got it. Now let's celebrate Jesus with one more game. 
This one's called Unwrap the Need to Know. Yep, we're gonna have four presents and each one has a piece of the need to know we just said inside of it. You'll have to unwrap those gifts and put the need to know in the correct order. The first team to unwrap all four gifts and correctly order the need to know will be our winner. And remember, this is your last chance to earn a point for your team. Here we go. The truth of Jesus is the gift that keeps on giving. Let's see if our contestants can remember what we've learned today. Whoever unwraps the need to know and puts it on the correct order on the cookie sheet will be the winner. Ready, go. all around everyone and big congratulations to our red team now what better way to celebrate such an awesome win than to sing a song along with a little victory dance and really we all win because God gave us all Jesus get on your feet and let's celebrate Before we can wrap up today's show, we've got one more thing to do. Let's pray together. Bow your head and close your eyes. God, thank you for loving us and sending us your son, Jesus. We celebrate him today and every day. Amen. And that's it for our show. I'll see you next time on Holly Jolly Kitchen. Merry Christmas, everyone.